Frank and Familia, welcome back to the episode with me and Frank C. So today, um, I know we're getting a little late in the, in the summer season, but you know, it's actually my first time recording in a while, so I had vacation, had a bunch of stuff come up, um, so now I'm going to jump into it. Uh, this is going to be this top 10 summer scents. This is going to be my main 10 summer scents. It's going to be in the order that I'm wearing, in the order that I am uh, ranking them for summer 2023. But first, if this is your first time on my channel, Please consider subscribing as we continue to bring you fragrance news and reviews that, that you might not get it, get it everywhere else. And to all my long-term uh, subscribers, I definitely appreciate your support. So back at it. So first, this is going to be my main top 10 for 2023. So let's just jump right into it. Number 10, from the house of Paco Rabanne's Paco Rabanne 1 million cologne. Uh, one of the iterations of the 1, one million uh, line. Uh, this is the, the, the cologne version. It's a lighter. I think is this thing projects crazy for the first like two or three hours and then dies down for skin scent for another like three hours. So the longevity is not really that great. I'll probably get about five or six hours out of it. Uh, but for that first like couple hours, the first two hours or so, you're going to fill up a room with it. The projection is off the meter for, for this one. So for the house of Parker Bond, Parker Bond 1 million cologne number 10 spot. Got some new additions. Things kind of moved around. Got some, some classics on this on this list. Number nine for the house of Dunhill. This is Dunhill Century. Beautiful sandalwood scent. It's all sandalwood. Kind of in the same vein of uh, you could say Santal 33 from Le Labo. Beautiful scent. Uh, really good projection. Eight to ten hours of longevity all day. Perfect, perfect for summer. For the house of Dunhill, Dunhill Century at number nine spot. Number eight. This is always a perennial favorite of mine, always been on my list. From the house of Guerlain, this is Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne. Long discontinued, it's really not fair in that sense that it's on my list, but this is my list, my, list, my top 10 for, 10 for summer. Uh, I would say really a good, it's really not a really good standard for this one, I, I would say. This is this is just a original perfumery at its finest. I mean, that Guerlain is, is almond, is, it's lemon, citrus, and almond note is present. Great performance. Can't beat it. The house Guerlain is Guerlain Lone Ideal Cologne. All right, so where are we now? 10, 9, 8, number 7 spot, always on our list again. This has been number, number 1 uh, for the last couple years and it's higher than ranked last year, I believe. But this is going to be 10, 9, 8 at the 7 spot for the house of John Provados, John Provados Artisan Pure. This, in my opinion, I know there's been a couple other artisans uh, that have come out. I haven't had a chance to smell those yet. I don't know if it's like a platinum one or a silver one, like with a silver net around it. But uh, from what I've smelled from the house of John Provados, I smelled, smell, smell, uh, excuse me, I smelled a lot of these art, artisan series. This one is the best. I mean, but you know, Provados is notorious for not having long-lasting uh, fragrances. This one is a banger. Eight to ten hours, good projection for the first two hours. I mean, it's it's really it's really really one of the most cleanest citrus citruses you can wear. It's, uh, just imagine a really clean citrus. Uh, some nice, some nice white florals are in this one. Can't beat it. From the house of John Provado, John Provado's Artisan Pure. And it used to be the rack stores. I got this at rack store probably like in 2018 or so. Um, I see rack stores make a comeback, so hopefully it'll be back soon. 10, 9, 8, 7. Number 6 spot. Who would ever thought? From the house of Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. I'm impressed by this one, actually. You know, Jimmy Choo, I always say, eh, Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo, but I, I've picked up a couple Jimmy Choo's this year. I always had Jimmy Choo Man Extreme, but now I've picked up a, a, a couple new, uh, other Jimmy Choo's, and this one doesn't, doesn't disappoint. I mean, it's good performance. The thing is, it, it doesn't project, but the longevity. The longevity, I get a good seven, eight hours. I get a good, a good work day out of this, and you can keep getting whiffs of it. Uh, nice. It's blue, but it not. It's kind of like a marine, marine type blue. That's not the classic type blue. It is a blue scent, but it's aqua too. It's kind of. It has that salt, that saltiness. Like right now, I, I could, you can kind of taste the saltiness of it. it is, it's a little salty, like it's like sea salt type vibe, uh, mixed with that blue. Great stuff from the house of Jimmy Choo, Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. Ten nine eight seven six, the five spot. They have in the top five from the house of Armoth. It's Armoth El Cielo. So classic uh, for the House of Armoth Middle Eastern scent, and you know this one has a twist. It's like a it's like a mix of uh, Invictus. Um, it's kind of it reminds me of Invictus a lot, but with a little twist to it. It, it has some uh, fresher nuances to it. It's not all sweet. Um, a little, there's a little um, scratchiness to it a little bit. So it's 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 not as sweet as Invictus, but it's in that same Invictus wheelhouse. 
So, I mean, I get good uh, longevity out of eight, eight to 10 hours, good projection for the first hour or two. Really good stuff. And, and it's a classic with Housewire Moth. Had, had this for, for many years. I'm just starting to discover my fragrances that I had kind of put away for a while. So, for Housewire Moth, Armoth, Armoth El Cielo. All right, now we have the number four spot. Number four spot is going to be uh, from the house of Coach. And this is Coach for Men Green. This one really surprised me because I'm not really a fan of Coach. Um, I smell Coach Platinum and uh, I, have a, I have original Coach, uh, Coach somewhere. You, you either have Coach or Coach Platinum somewhere. Uh, but I'm just not even really into Coach like that. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of Coach fans out there, but it just didn't really excite me. Maybe I'll dig it up and maybe I'll start to like it. But this Coach Green here, I just I just pulled the trigger on it. I like the notes on it. Woo! This is actually my scent of the day for today. Beautiful scent. I mean, there's like... Um, of course, it's 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 woody. There's, there's that kiwi accord that's in this. Um, you know, it's uh, it's definitely fruity, and it has that greenness to it. The, the kiwi uh, it gives it that fruitiness, and there's definitely that that, that green uh, that green note that's in this. So it's sweet and kind of green at the same time. It it, it kind of smells familiar, but then it doesn't. It doesn't really smell like anything that I really have in my collection. So that fruitiness and that greenness at the same time. Psh. And I think this is the 2020 release. It just came out uh, this year, so. This will definitely make my list for the top release of 2023. I wear a lot from the house of Coach. This is Coach Green for men, the number four spot. Number three, once again, another Middle Eastern house. And this one is from the house of Armoff. It's Armoff Club and Louis Milestone. I, this has been my top, my summer list for the last couple of years. I mean, you just can't get it, just can't get away from that salty, fruity, just this is a masterpiece uh of course it is a, a dupe or clone of uh Cree and Billis imperial so uh you know of course the quality is not on the Cree level but the projection and the performance definitely outweighs um the the creed uh Millicent imperial Millicent imperial may get like three to five hours this one is eight eight to ten hours uh almost i, I would say on, on the edge of beast mode uh projection uh, because it really projects hard. Uh, I've got a lot of confidence off it. My wife likes this one and is on my summer list again, probably for the third or fourth year in a row. So from the house of Armoff, this is Armoff Club in the Wii Milestone. That's the number three spot. All right, number two, top two here. So, you know, we're talking about medals. This is bronze. So let, let, let's, let's just get into the medals. Bronze medal. Silver medal at the number two spot. It's going to be from the house of Isimiyaki. It's Isimiyaki Lodice Porom Vetive. So you really can't tell the difference in the bottle, but on the bottom it says, it says Vetive. It's, it's, it's kind of etched in there. So, of course, a wooden top. Uh, it looks, kind of looks like wood, wood, but it's not. This is, I believe, and my favorite Isimiyaki, as a lot of, a lot of you know, I've talked about it before, is uh, Isimiyaki Intense. I think this one is a replacement for that one, or it's it's, it's kind of I don't know if Intense is, uh, has been discontinued, but this is in that same boat. Uh, very it's creamy, the better very, and it's great. It's an awesome scent. Number two spot, Bronze Award, Lotusse, Poron, Isimiyaki, Betty Ver edition. And number one spot from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier. I talked about this before on the channel. Jean Paul Gaultier Le Beau. Uh, this is the EDT. Uh, I've worn this a lot. I mean, I, I just got it uh, for Father's Day uh, a little over a month ago, and I've already put a huge dent in it. I wear this a lot. Maybe wear it three times a week. Out of all the stuff I have, uh, I just like it a lot. It's this coconut. Um, it, it, it's, it really, it really, it really has that tropical vibe to it. And um, you know, it, it's it, it doesn't. I don't think it performs very well. Um, you know, I get average performance out of it, but that average performance is really good. It smells great. My wife likes it a lot. And um, so I'm rocking for somewhere at my number one spot. Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Beau, EDT. Thanks for so much. I'll have you there next time. Take care.